Well, folks, we've got a problem. And it's not just Riff Salad. Although, really, the Riff Salad is at the heart of the problem. But the real problem is this number. Not just this number, but all of the other numbers that we make the math with, with this number. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for how long this is going to take. I know you guys wanna know who the winner is, and so do I. The thing is, we are absolutely never gonna find out who the winner is if I have to listen to four minutes of every single song. So I'm instituting the gong. It's not really anybody's fault. This contest is going way, way better than I could have ever possibly imagined. I just didn't think that I would ever get this many entries. So that's fine, it's great, but I can't react to all four minutes of every song. I just can't do it. So what that means is this, more entries per video, less time listening to songs that aren't that great. Everybody wins. It means that you're gonna find out who the winner is a lot sooner. If you can't impress me within 90 seconds, that's being very generous. I probably know within 30 seconds if your song is worth listening to all the way through, but I also want to give you the benefit of the doubt. Glenn only gave you 60 seconds. I'm giving you a full 90. Never let it be said that I am not generous. This video is sponsored by DistroKid, the best way to put your music on the internet. More on that in a little bit. So from here on out, if I'm not liking what I'm hearing within 90 seconds, I'm gonna hit the gong. This doesn't mean that I'm not necessarily going to listen to whole songs because I very well might, especially if they're really good. But like, I got shit to do, you know what I mean? We got too many Martins and not enough Kenneths. So without any further ado, I introduce to you the brand new and improved Trey Xavier Reacts to your 200K entries. Now featuring the gong. All right, Jonathan Curtis. I always appreciate songwriting feedback. Well, guess what, Jonathan? You're gonna get it, whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah. All right, this is pretty nice so far. I was really hoping the singing was about to start there, Jonathan. First tip, don't make me wait this long. That's where the vocals should have started. That's where the vocals should have started, John. But you made me wait too long. It's all fun and games until it goes on way too long. John, Jonathan Curtis, why didn't you write me a real song? Gotta have those lyrics that you wrote me. But it went on way too long. Jonathan Curtis made a pop punk song. But nobody's gonna sing along because Jonathan blew it big time oh this is cool nice little line cliche I love those I don't know why and you're out of time no top line on a pretty nice pop punk backing track gong I need a gong I need a physical gong I don't have one and saying gong just doesn't really have the same effect next up next Glenn Kenny I wrote the song on the 80421 starting with a mashing a drum kit together from the GGD okay I don't care about that I didn't intend on writing vocals because it normally takes me a long time but as I was laying down the final guitar parts lyrics started coming to me pretty quickly so I figured I better add them in what a concept the whole thing came together over a few hours the best ones usually do Fooled by gold. All right, you got my you got my multi-genre stank face going. I think. Real evil. That's good dissonance.
There's something wrong with your guitars. Something... Sounds like a real shit quality MP3 or something. I think you're switching your beats too quick. I mean... I don't know. It feels like you're going back and forth between different kinds of grooves. A willy nilly? Feels to me. the stop in the waveform. All right. I mean, that's the first break we've gotten from the constant onslaught, which is fine. A little bit of Lamb of God ish. That's a hook. Goosey on the performance there. Yeah, either you used something that's not that great for guitar, or you exported this as like a 64K MP3 file. That was pretty good. The problem is like when you have like pretty good sounding metal, it's just like real heavy and it feels good. It's pretty easy to be tricked into thinking that you're listening to a really good song. This was only like an okay song. Metal is awesome. <laughs> like metal feels great to listen to. It's very energetic and intense, but that doesn't make a great song. This was pretty good. You had a little bit of a hook in there, but kind of felt like a big kind of mushy mess, not with a lot of real distinct parts. It felt like it, it lacked direction to me, but overall pretty good. Pretty good. You got you got the stank face that you wanted, so I hope you're happy. Ian P. When the lockdown, lockdown started, I set a goal of writing one song a month, and I've been keeping to it. Wow, that's impressive. Your Nail the Mix subscription deal, I think, really helped glue this one together more. Probably my favorite part is the... I don't care. Times is strange. Ephemeris. Uh, 
We were expecting a minor third, and we got a major third. I feel like you need to make this a little more exciting somehow. It's nice. I'm taking a little rip. But I, I don't know, there's some... Gotta do something to kick it up a notch. Bro, do you even prog? You can't find the one. Maybe you're too much of a fleet. Oh, that's the strange time. Ah, see, right there, you changed the third in the chord and not in the melody, and I feel like before you did the opposite. Anyway, I'm gonna gong it right there. Even though this was, like, pretty good, it needs a lot more... Before it's really gonna pique my interest. You got three minutes in. That's pretty fucking solid. A lot of nice stuff in there. It's just a bit boring. It feels like you're kind of on the right path, and you just need to keep doing more of this, like it sounds like you're doing, at the rate of one a month. Doesn't seem like a lot, but that's kind of a lot. To me, it's just a little nice, but a little mayonnaise. Make it a little spicier, a little more exciting to listen to somehow, and you'll hook me to the end. So I imagine some of you are gonna wanna release some of these songs into the world for other people to listen to than just myself. And if you're gonna do that, DistroKid is the best way. But you might be wondering to yourself, what is DistroKid? I keep talking about it, but I haven't really explained what it is or why you need it. You look at all the different outlets where you can listen to music on the internet, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Deezer. I don't, I've never used Deezer, I have no idea what it is, but my music is on there thanks to DistroKid. So how do you get your music onto there? You can't just like email an MP3 to iTunes and they'll be like, cool, yeah, sure, let me just throw this up there. So this is where DistroKid comes in. DistroKid is independent music distribution. They take your music and they put it on all of these different services for you so you don't have to make individual deals with each one of these streaming services because they all do things completely differently they all have different rules and formats that they need and all this stuff you don't have to worry about any of that they take care of everything they put it on all of the services just the ones that you want like say for some reason you have something against Deezer like what did Deezer ever do to anybody I don't know but let's say you got it in for Deezer you can check a little box and it won't go on Deezer. Should I just like start beef with Deezer? Should I go on Twitter and just be like, fuck Deezer? If you're not doing it already, first of all, you're crazy. How are you releasing music without DistroKid? I have no idea. But if you're not, there's a link in the description where you can get 7% off your first year. I'm the King by The Buff Guy. Hey Trey, wrote this for your 200K contest. It's about being courageous enough to achieve your goals in life. Hope that I can relate to that. If nothing else, I am going for it. Will I achieve them? has yet to be seen. All right. Cool. 
I like the structure of the riff. I think having the both octaves in the voice for the verse and the chorus is too much. You gotta save it. Like it could be a Sabaton song or something. See, right here, you needed to do something different because it's just the same riff exactly as before. It's just copy pasted. It's just copy pasted. It's just copy pasted. You gotta do something. the chorus again? Oh. Alright. I mean, this is, this is pretty good. This is like, I'll remember this for sure. I'm the king I'll do this when I carry all of the bags of groceries from my car. I'm the king. Still elusive? I don't. I feel like you put that in there just because it rhymed. It doesn't really. I don't feel like it fits. All right, you made it all the way to the end. I liked that. I think there are things that could have been improved about it, but at the core of it was a good, catchy song, a good hook. By the end, I could, I could uh, maybe not sing the whole. Th I mean. I'm the king and I'm gonna prove it Another day I'm still elusive Something like that? I'm, I, can, I can remember it after one listen You achieved the goal! I think you really gotta spice up those riffs somehow Even if you don't really change like the notes or many of the rhythms Every time it comes back, make something about it more intense More palm muting, double up the picking speed Play like 8th notes or 16th notes Just something to kick it up a notch every time it comes back I don't really feel like you had a bridge exactly I guess the guitar solo Don't think I heard a second verse I felt like your first verse was pretty good but then I don't think a second verse ever came around. You don't have to have a second verse, but... And also doubling up your vocal an octave higher or lower. I don't know which one was the original. The whole time is kind of tiresome and it doesn't leave you anywhere to go. So I want to hear just the one maybe during the verse. So then when it comes in and it's doubled during the chorus, it's going to sound bigger and not just the same. Overall, the buff guy... Buff guy, are you this? Are you also deep voice guy from Glenn's contest? Sounded like it. Deep voice guy is also very buff, so why would you have two handles though? I don't know. Yes. It's the same guy. Neon. I made this song for the contest. I need to practice a lot more, so please be as harsh as you can. Ho 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 ho! You don't gotta tell me twice. Wow, you really need to practice more. Oh. Okay, a little bit of development. A little bit more. Nope, just the same thing again. Okay. No. Now. All right. Something good here, Neon. Don't you fucking let me down.
You don't need to practice the guitar more if that's what you were thinking. You gotta practice your songwriting because... Because you just disappointed me. This isn't... See, this sounds cool. But this is still basically the same thing. All right. Nope, you're getting gong. I skipped through the rest of it and it doesn't go anywhere, I can tell. You don't need to practice your guitar more. Actually, I have a vo whole video that's just for you. It's called Stop Practicing the Guitar. You should check it out because it's all about people just like you who are already really good at the guitar and think that their amazing shredding skills are what's gonna get them far in life. You could get somewhere for sure, but songs will get you a lot further. This had a lot of cool elements to it, but you did not deliver the goods. Sorry, you built up to disappointment. No one's ever gonna like that. I certainly don't. I feel a little betrayed because it sounded cool and seemed like it was going somewhere and then it just didn't. So practice your songwriting not the guitar. That wasn't even nearly as harsh as I could be. Oh, here's Brock Cooper. Is this the guy who sent me five fucking emails? Jesus Christ. Is it actually gonna load? Oh. All right, Brock. Your song is fucking four minutes and 33 seconds. After all that, Brock! After all that! No! Brock, you are fucking hard disqualified. Motherfucker sent me six emails. <laughs> Bye! All right, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Big thanks to DistroKid for sponsoring this episode. Don't forget that there is a link in the description where you can get 7% off your first year of DistroKid. I'm going to continue slogging my way through all of these 200k entries, unfortunately. So stick around for more, and I'll see you real soon.